we grew up in rubble. We grew up with burnt out decay all over us. Fordham University presented the film Decade of Fire, a film about the South Bronx during the 1970s when Puerto Rican and black residents were blamed for all the fires occurring in the community. Co-director and producer Vivian Vasquez shared her story along with those who fought to save the South Bronx and made a statement that they were not the ones who destroyed it. Despite the discrimination in housing, despite the discrimination in education, despite uh, very low quality services that people received, uh, people often talk about how we supported each other and helped each other during times of, of real austerity. The reason we're trying to do all these things is to show an example to the rest of the people in the neighborhood that if you just try, you could make a lot better neighborhood. The film explained the impact of redlining in which loans and mortgages were denied to minority populations because they lived in an area deemed to be a financial liability, as well as why landlords sold the buildings to speculators who only collected money from tenants and ignored all requests to improve the building's condition. We go deep into the different policies, housing policies and practices that were in effect beginning in the 1940s to talk about how is it that the housing in the Bronx declined dramatically. Dr. Mark Nason has been teaching at Fordham University for the past 48 years. He saw the Bronx burn as he drove to work from the 3rd Avenue line up to Fordham Road. It was one of the scariest things that I had ever seen because no one had ever heard of a city that wasn't involved in war or, or, or aerial bombardment destroying itself. It was terrifying and it lasted about seven or eight years. Vasquez wanted to relate the film to what's happening today and left us with this comment. We're experiencing gentrification, mass displacement, and so the fires displaced people back in the 70s. Now gentrification is displacing our folks in the South Bronx. If you haven't seen the film yet, check out any upcoming screenings at decadeoffire.com. Reporting for Bronxnet, Yesenia Ramos.